I just can't picture a radical new design for a camera. You've got a, a lens on the front, a, a screen of some sort at the back, and a button on top that you press to take a picture. I mean, even smartphones got the same setup. Well, that's why it's high time that it's been reinvented. So, what's been reinvented here? Okay, so this is the Light L16 camera, and I'll show you why it's different. Let's take a little look. Wow, it looks like a block of Swiss cheese. I'm not sure if that's quite the look they're going for. Um, it's got 16 lenses on the front of this camera. Now, like anything, when it's been completely reinvented, it is quite expensive. How expensive? We're talking £1,850. Oh, that's a lot of money. John, you're the man for this question. How much is a decent camera these days? For the keen hobbyist. Like yourself, dear boy. Ah, yes, a difficult question to answer categorically. We can certainly get a, a good body and a zoom lens that will deliver excellent images and get you started for well under £800. So I'm expecting quite a bit for £1,850. Mm. OK, it has got quite a lot to live up to in that case, then. It feels um, solid, definitely built to last. Yeah, definitely. So the, the 16 lenses work together to make 52 megapixel photos, which is about twice the quality of a normal photo on a traditional camera. Um, has it turned on yet? Yeah, that's just... I think it's still loading at the moment. OK. OK, so, Georgie, how do 16 lenses make one photo? So the lenses have different focal lengths. Some are wide-angle, other are telephoto, and the software stitches it together, depending on how much you zoom in, which you do via the touch screen I'm on the really, back. I'm really zoomed in now. That doesn't sound that flattering, thank <laughs> yeah. you very much. Um, and it stitches it together to create the sharpest photo possible. Well, the touch screen's clear, the buttons are responsive. All those lenses, are they for the megapixels? Yes, absolutely. But it also does something else, and yeah. this is where it really gets exciting. Go and sit down over there, Craig. We'll take a lovely little gadget show family mm. photo. All right. All right. Um, so what the L16 camera can do is it creates a 3D depth map of the scene that you're taking. So smile for me. Which lens do we look at? Oh, that's a very good point. <laughs> Looking beautiful. Um, but I can go back into that photo afterwards and change the focus and depth of field. So I'll do that on the software. This is the Gadget Show where we've had a play with this £1,850 16 lens, 52 megapixel light L16 camera. <laughs> John, was it worth me reading out all those blooming numbers? Well, probably not, actually, because it's a bit of a mixed bag. I mean, I like the way it does do the different focusing after the event in the picture. If I press the focus button there, I can click on myself and I am in focus. You're out of focus. I can move the focus point over to you, click on you, you become in focus, I lose focus. It does work. It's not a very pronounced effect, actually, because that's at maximum aperture, so it's, it's rather more subtle than some of the effects you get on smartphones, and the overall image quality isn't that great. And there are other problems as well. Here is a scene with some flamingos in a fountain. If I zoom in a bit on the flamingos, I might want to separate those from the background. Perfect use of this software, you might think. If I click again on the focus button, and click on the flamingo in the middle. It does get extra focus on the flamingo's body, but the head, which is about the same distance away, is still <laughs> blurred and merged with the background. So it's uh, anything but perfect, I feel. And uh, there are far better ways of spending 1,850 quid uh, to get photographic enjoyment. So, could do better then. I think so. <laughs>